show. We're very pleased to have the Heritage Foundation Senior Legal Fellow, Hans von Spakowski, joining us on the unlikely controversy involving voter ID and McDonald's. Hans, welcome. Having me. Great, great to have you with us. Um, for viewers who might not be familiar with voter ID, can you tell us very briefly what voter ID is, what it involves, what are we, what are we talking about? Well, a number of states have put in laws that require you, when you show up your, at your precinct to vote, to show a government-issued photo ID, anything from a driver's license to, in some places, you know, a student ID, a military ID, or a U.S. passport. Okay, now this has become a big political issue in this election year. Uh, we've heard both the Obama administration officials and other interested groups lobby against voter ID. The latest news is that McDonald's has left an organization called the American Legislative Exchange Council, or ALEC. Uh, what is ALEC and how is it related to this voter ID issue? Well, ALEC is this national organization, uh, the members of which are state legislators from all over the country, from every state. And they prepare model legislation on many, many different issues. And one of the, th one of the things that they did put together was a model bill for photo ID. I mean, it's a very good uh, bill, it's, it's a good piece of legislation, and it's intended to help secure the integrity of elections. And yet, uh, a group has started uh, calls for uh, corporate sponsors like McDonald's to withdraw their membership. I mean, it's a very short-sighted, uh, a very short-sighted view. When you say a short-sighted view, Hans, um, let's talk about voter fraud in America, because these groups claim that actually the incidence of voter fraud is negligible, we don't need voter ID laws, and they discriminate against minorities. Can you respond to these claims? Well, look, uh, over our history, we've had many cases, proven cases of voter fraud all over the country, many prosecutions and convictions. I'm not sure how much voter fraud they think is acceptable before we start taking basic security measures. Uh, the claim that this will keep people from voting we know is untrue. Uh, it's been disproven in the courtroom. The lawsuits filed against states like uh, Georgia and Indiana uh, over their voter ID laws have been tossed out uh, by the courts. And in those states, uh, the turnout actually of minority voters, African Americans, Hispanics, has gone up since their photo ID laws went in place. So what are these groups that are lobbying against companies like McDonald's and others who have supported organizations that support voter ID what do they hope to achieve by opposing voter ID? Well, look, they are putting forth this myth that this is a reimposition of Jim Crow, that it's uh, racial discrimination, and most of the organizations that are saying this, you know, they depend on uh, uh, funding for these organizations on riling up their membership. You know, the Advancement Project, the Lawyers Committee for Civil Rights. Uh, by the way, all of those organizations um, require a photo ID to get into their <laughs> offices in Washington, something that uh, Pajamas Media proved with an undercover video they released a week ago. Um, we're talking to the Heritage Foundation Senior Legal Fellow, Hans von Spakowski, about voter ID. Um, Hans, I'm glad that you brought up that video uh, one of them that was released this week, I'm not sure if it was from pajamas or another outfit, but it showed a fellow trying to go in and vote and use Attorney General Eric Holder's name to vote. I don't know if you saw the video, but if you did, I'd love to hear what you thought about it and what it says about the integrity of our voting system. Yeah, it was James O'Keefe, and they sent someone in undercover, uh, who, by the way, is white. <laughs> and uh, he went into uh, Eric Holder's polling place, and they offered him a ballot. You know, no ID is required in D.C. And that shows uh, how easy it is to cheat. And for those who say, well, you know, this was fake, it wasn't real, um, they uh, might uh, want to check out the fact that the deputy chief of staff of the mayor of Washington, D.C., Vincent Gray, uh, last year was forced to resign after community activists discovered that she had registered, voted in D.C., even though she's a resident of Maryland. Wow. That would, that would not have happened if they'd had an ID requirement. Um, Hans, we've only got about 30 seconds left. A very quick question. When we're talking about voter ID, um, are we talking about people providing kinds of identification that are onerous, or are we talking about the same kinds of ID that you would show to get on an airplane or buy a can of beer? No, it's exactly the same. And every single state that has put in a law like this 
has also said we will provide a free photo ID to anyone who doesn't already have one and can't afford one.